Oh Lord, this is the one. He's the one. This is the one. He's the one. Some things that we pray is not in God's will. Just give me some Jesus. Yay! This video is sponsored by Jesus Christ himself. Welcome and welcome back to a new video. Why am I starting this vlog at almost 1 o'clock p.m.? Don't ask me. I really don't know. But we got some things to do. Well, no, not really. I just wanted to vlog. I organized my craft room boogies. Let me, I want to see. I want to see. Ooh, who's that girl? Who's that girl? Okay, this is not my craft room. This side is my craft room. But I did or reorganize. I'm gonna show y'all right now. So before, I think I when I did my craft room tour, I showed you guys, right? So this organization thing was here, right? My desk was here. My sewing table was there. Over here, baby, craft, I mean, scrap fabric. Scrap fabric, I was gifted this deadbolt uh, fabric here. Very, very cute, very, very pretty. Um, I'm getting into something right here. It's super stinking cute. It's finna fall, we love it here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, why? I just wanted to show y'all something. Gosh, it's not even on the mannequin head. Y'all get the gist. I still need to finish cleaning up in here, like my sewing patterns all over the place. I have like pieces everywhere. At first I wanted to put it in the binders. Didn't work out. Let me open the curtain for y'all, cause you know, we could, we can see the light now. Woo! And I'm sitting at my desk, I could have a little view going on. I still have my fabric here. It will never change. I changed my, my spool holder, thread spool holder from over there to over here. This is a more comfortable sewing position, I hope. And that's all I changed. Oh, and then my storage containers over over there which I can't open the drawer and then this is my trolley of crafts and then I finally get to open out my mannequin although nothing's on it right now and I do want a new mannequin and I still have my sewing table here because it can't go anywhere else just wanted to show you guys that and now we're leaving oh let me close the curtains and I do have to pack a, a package that I ordered what pack an order that Pack an order that was purchased. Pack a purchase that was ordered. I gotta pack a hat pin, how about that? I also started working on something last night, super stinking cute. It is, I'm t I told y'all I wanted to get a little bit into millinery, so I started working on this last night. It is going to be a little bit pricey, only because each of these jewels was put on single-handed. Like, look how pretty that is. It's gonna be a multicolored hat. Mm -hmm. I'm not sweating, I'm just very moisturized, very much buttercup, very much Lindor chocolate. But I'm hot. I just got in from the bank. I picked up some bank um, some straps because um I have a lot of coins that I need to convert into paper. Anyways, child, how y'all doing today? Mental check. Hold on. This video started a little bit hype. How are y'all doing? It's about to be September and we have about four months left in the year. This year for me has been, I don't even know. It's been up and down. It's just been everywhere. We just need to take a break. Like take a mental, like sit down, like a recap, like literally recap 2024. 2024 just started. Like I remember so vividly doing my 2023 recap and now 2024 is about to be over. I was stepping into 2025. That's wild. Um, anyway, but at the end of the day, we will have some. Faith is small as a. Come on, Bible scholars, it's small as a mustard seed. And the, and then when you have faith as small as a mustard seed, what you'll be able to do? Come on, Bible scholars, move mountains. Exactly. See. So we have um, a few stuff on our board that we need to accomplish by the end of today. I work tomorrow from 11 to 10. I picked up an extra shift because we need that money, babes. I want to show you guys this new fragrance that I picked up. Let me see if I could. I did. I definitely bought a tripod for a reason, Buka Dukes. So we're going to use it. Um, hello? Hello? Rude? Intro, please. Oh, should I film what's in my bag? I did pick this bag up. I think I mentioned it in one of my vlogs. I don't know if it's posted yet or if it will be posted after. I think it was a crafting vlog that I was doing. But I did pick up this Steve Madden bag. It's an everyday purse. It came with another strap, but I took the other strap off because it was too much straps going on. But I definitely love it. It has two compartments. I definitely should do a what's in my bag because I know y'all nosy like that and y'all want to know what's what I be carrying around. Y'all want to know what I know. I don't carry nothing much. I'm trying, I'm trying to let y'all know I don't carry nothing much. Okay, but yeah. This is super sticky cute. Super, 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 
super cute. Now I want to show you guys on um, this fragrance that I picked up. It's a dupe, but it's como se dice, un poquito long lasting, a little bit long lasting, not really long lasting. But let me tell you, I'm not gonna spend ninety dollars on a perfume that I'm not wearing every single day because, as you guys can see, I have a perfume tower too. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys this new perfume. It is called Love Cherry. Now this is a dupe off of a dupe. What do I mean by that? Finery, put it right here on the screen. Finery is at Target, and I guess uh, the store that I got it from picked it up and was like okay this ain't the real one but we could make a dupe dupe so I don't know the original scent where it comes from but I know that they have it at Target which is called Finery and I saw this in a store and I picked it up see that's how you know it's a dupe dupe because the, the the label is like crooked come on hello it don't even focus it's called love cherry and let me tell you something it might be dupe dupes it might be secondhand dupe but it smells really 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 good I smell mm, so good I'm, I'm, I'm no cat I'm sorry I'm, I wish I could tell y'all where to get this from I got it from Mad Rag but I don't know I don't know if y'all gonna be able to find this at Mad Rag I did something to my camera and now it's not focusing I don't know what I did I pressed something you can cancel the switch background all right bam exactly I fixed it so nice so cute so simple um but yeah get y'all some all right if y'all can't find this finery finery if y'all can't find finery in Target something I don't know Oh, but I've been um wanting um the gingham the gingham perfume gingham I think it's called gingham gingham gold from Bath and Body Works the perfume or is it called perfume I think it's the perfume when I say it smells like a grown woman just walked into the building and said move out my way it was giving just that I put it here it's just giving just that are you kidding me right now I said oh no we gotta get this before it sells out or sells out girl. Buka duka luka luka. Are you kidding me? All right, I'm a little hype. Whenever I turn the camera on, I just feel like I just I just feel like I'm in my element. That's why I act like this. Oh, thank you guys so much for giving um the she and modest end of summer haul the love that. I would say it deserved, but the love that I never knew it deserved. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. And if y'all are new here, hi. Hi! We're family over here. I need y'all to start, I need y'all to start interacting with me. I'm gonna talk to y'all. Follow me on my Instagram, at Shawnee with the T. Bloop. If I don't put it here, I'm just standing here like a mannequin. But if I do put it there, y'all know what to do. Follow your girl. Um, but yeah. Follow me on my Instagram so I can interact with y'all and we can start doing, um, Q and A's, ask me anything you want and I try to answer it to my best of my ability. English, answer it to the best of my ability. Like I wanna, I wanna talk with you guys. Like don't just watch, interact. Like we besties over here, you know what I'm saying? We just trying to make it into heaven together, right? Um, so interact with me, basically. This premature twist, what? You know when there's a lot happening with nothing happening at the same time? Like, we're gonna do a little chit chat. Chit chat slash word of the day. Some things that we pray is not in God's will. Some things that we are praying for is not in the will of God. I'm not telling you to stop praying for it now. But when you realize like, hey, this would have messed up my life. Some things like I've prayed for and I'm like, Lord, or, this is just an example. Me not say me pray this prayer. Me not say me never pray the prayer. But me just like, tell no. My example. Oh Lord, this is the one. He's the one. This is the one. He's the one. Lord, 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 he's the one. I mean, I pray the prayer. No. Example. I'm praying the prayer. I'm praying the prayer. I'm praying the prayer. Come to find out, that's not the one that the Lord had for me. He just wanted to kill, steal, and destroy, just like his father, the devil. Mm. I'm just kidding. He wasn't on the same path. He did not compliment my calling just an example so the prayer that you pray might not be in the will of god but god still hears you just like a parent you tell them that you want a job at 16 but in their mind they're documenting okay she wants a job but she's not ready for it yet there's still some things that we have to go through to be ready for what god has for us right everything that you pray for is not in the will of god god hears us but he sees that we're not ready for it yet when he's preparing us to be ready we often complain about the season that we are in. Now that I can heavily relate to, because I know we all pray for things, right? And we all want God to provide. And he is providing for us every single day. But we want God to provide the things that we are praying for. But we are not seeing the things that is already provided, meaning we are being ungrateful. He provided life, breath, 
like we oh my gosh i feel like oh my gosh i feel like we overlook these things that are given to us every day because we think we are we know we're privileged we see these things we are able to walk into these things every day so we don't pay any mind to them like like wow and i had to pray the other day and be like lord if i'm being ungrateful like please help me to be grateful like there's so many different things that we just forget about like the fact that i woke up this morning to forget about the fact that i can walk by myself to forget about the fact that i am not on a ventilator i can breathe by myself i'm not on an oxygen tank i can see clearly like i have 2020 vision i think that's what it's called and i don't need glasses i can talk i can move my jaw because we don't have the car that we want because we don't have the bank account with the numbers in it that we want because we don't have the family that we want or the, the girl or the boy that or the man or the woman or that we want or we're not living in the house that we want we just forget about these little stuff and that's why if we keep calling them small things we're gonna forget about them but it's just as big as is every blessing that God gives to you is a big blessing. No blessing that you get from God is small. No blessing that you get from God is small. And if we keep thinking with that mentality, we're gonna keep forgetting the blessings that we're given every day, the new mercies that we're given every day. That's a blessing. Do you realize God can just cut you off? Like, bleep. That's a blessing that God has granted us another opportunity to be living, to be amongst the living and not be six feet under. Like once you're six feet under, you have no more life to live. So with that being said, you might not be in the job that you want to be in right now. You might not have the figures in your bank account that you want to have right now but let's just remember the things that we do have let's be grateful it's one of the characteristics that you should show god that hey god i see that you're doing this for me that's just like your parents doing something for you and not saying thank you or not showing gratitude towards them for doing that for taking time out do you know god takes time out to give us these things every single day and look how many days that we have lived on earth i ain't ashamed of it i'm 24 years old god has given me numerous amount of mercies in the 24 year span that i'm living like are you kidding me hello that's just crazy um but there was a lot of gems that was dropped today you allow god to use your mouth use your mouthpiece be an oracle for god he'll definitely fill your words fill He'll definitely fill your mouth with words. And I feel like today, if you are able to take anything from what I said today, my work here is done. I can just end the vlog right now. And if you didn't get anything, I hope in the future, if you do return to my channel, you'll be able to get something to help you through this life. All right, y'all. Okay, so before we go into the next segment of this video, um, this video is sponsored by Jesus. Um... This video is sponsored by Jesus Christ himself. All right, so I'm just gonna pray for you. I don't know what you're going through and you don't know what I'm going through internally, but one thing that we can both connect on is prayer. So I'm gonna pray for you on the other side of this screen. Most righteous God and eternal Father, I wanna thank you for another day that you have given unto us. I wanna thank you, Lord, for your grace and your mercy that you have bestowed upon us one more time, Lord God. Oh God, help us to be grateful, Lord Jesus, in whatever blessings that you have decided to give us. Lord God, I pray for your son or your daughter on the other side of this screen. Lord God, I'm asking you, Lord Jesus, to comfort them, Lord God, in whatever season they are in. Lord God, remind them, Lord Jesus, that they are not alone and you are with them, Lord God. Lord God, help them through whatever trials or tribulations or struggles, Lord God, that they endure currently and will endure, Lord God. Help them to rely on you with whatever they need, Lord Jesus, knowing that you are the ultimate provider, Lord God. I'm asking you today, Lord Jesus, to strengthen them, Lord Jesus. Lord God, be their strong tower, Lord God. Lord God, help them, Lord Jesus, to go about their day knowing that they have an internal joy, Lord Jesus. Lord God, and happiness, Lord Jesus, is something that will not last, but the joy, Lord God, of the Lord, Lord Jesus, is our strength. I'm asking you, Lord God, to cover us under your wing, Lord Jesus, knowing that the devil is out there, Lord Jesus, like a roaring lion, Lord God. Lord God, and he is not doing anything else but kill, stealing, and destroying, Lord Jesus. But we know, Lord God, that you are our protector, Lord God, and you will protect us. Lord God, I'm asking you, Lord Jesus, to continue, Lord Jesus, to provide for us, to continue continue to sustain us, Lord Jesus, as we go from day to day, Lord God. 
Lord God, help us, Lord Jesus, to put you as a priority, Lord God, in our lives every single day. Help us to put you first and seek you first as we continue to go on this Christian journey. In Jesus' name, amen. Yay! I feel like... I feel like um, whenever I pray, I just feel like, I just feel like happier. Like I'm talking about prayer. I'm not talking about something. God for waking me up this morning, set me in my right mind. That's, that's my everyday prayer. Cause I'm so serious when I be saying, thank you Jesus for waking me up this morning. But like I was saying, I felt like that little thing that's going around. Just give me some Jesus. Yay. Anytime I say it, my niece just starts saying, yay. Anyways, if y'all decide to click off right now, I hope you guys have a blessed day. Just give me my money. Just give me my money. Yay! She cut, she cut. She's so cute. She's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna go cut her heart because she's been. You wanna show them your 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 art? Presenting Kaylani, showing her beautiful art. Okay, nobody can't see that. You have to hold it up in the air. Like this. Here. What everyone? I need to get my marker first. No, you, you know you have to explain to them what each picture is. You're gonna do this side or this side? I'm gonna do this side. Okay. The bigger one. All right, here you go. Here. All right. Go ahead, Kaylani. Explain to them what the picture is. What's going on here? This is the monster. Where's the monster? It's. The girl monster right here. Whoa, super cool. And where's your heart? Who's the heart for? Mommy. Mom, I thought it was for Auntie Yanni. Okay, it's, it's for Mommy right now. Okay, that's fine. All right, and what else? That's it? That's it in your picture? No. And but they're not seeing. Your head is in the way. Oh, sorry. This is the monster lips, Lello. Oh, monster lips is yellow. Eh. And, and and these are two hearts. Wow, let me show them the hearts. So pretty. Okay, Picasso, here you go. Just give me my money. Yay. Okay, so this segment of the video is showing you guys everything that I've made in 2024. Okay, showing you some of the dresses that I made in 24. 2024 because I'll be doing a full dress recap at the end of the year of the dresses that I've made in 2024 So I don't know if you guys can see But I made this around the time that Bridgerton came out with their new season I said yes, I have to make a Bridgerton inspired dress So that is what I did so for the dresses that I do have pictures for I'll put the pictures on the screen of how I looked in them I will not be trying them on so this dress I rated out of five. It was a six out of five girl this dress was really pretty it's really flowy very 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 comfortable i got a lot of compliments in it i did post it on my tiktok and instagram it does have two ties in the back this was also inspired by a vogue pattern let me just put that out there it was inspired by a vogue pattern but i made it into my own i do use patterns but i don't use it in its entirety so i'll just cut a bodice from one or cut a skirt from one and then just put it together and sometimes I, I create my own stuff but I do want to get more into fully crafting and drafting my own pattern pieces because there are dresses that I want to do that have no patterns out there and I want to help you guys in the future with drafting like my own patterns I did do also an elastic sleeve is very very stretchy I when I say I constructed this like it was bought in a store bookie, the inside is flawless. I feel like this is one of my most flawless pieces. Like the thread, the surging, the stitching, straight, straight, straight like me as ever can be. The tie back, the, oh my gosh, like the steam press, everything, the cornering, everything was just so beautiful. I love this dress. Like I said, it's a six out of five. I'll be doing a more in-depth video at the end of December, like I said before, with all of the pieces that I've made throughout the year of 2020. Okay, this next dress, I'm not doing it in any specific order, but let me tell you, this dress was supposed to be my Easter dress, which is March. 
I started making this in March. I didn't finish it until June, July. Girl, this dress, the only reason why I kept going back and forth with this dress was because it was just giving me problems. I had to do the bodice twice. I had to work with lining. This was my first time ever working with lining and item. And also my first time working with tool. I always pick the hard long lasting projects i never you know do like easy projects like once i figured out i could sew so girl i jumped in head on but the bottom is a tool bottom and i lined it with like a little mini lining i lined it with a satin lining which is like a satin underskirt i wanted to do a petticoat with horse hair at the bottom but i said you know what i want to finish this dress this dress although it has this little x and x and flicks and mistakes and stuff this dress is a five out of five i must say i did i did really good I I surpassed my expectations with this dress with working with lining and everything I I didn't know that it would come out this good there are some things that I would edit on the dress but you know with with sewing trial and error and you learn next time very modest is giving I would wear this to a wedding I would wear this to a banquet it, it was one of the hardest dresses that I've ever done I'm not even gonna lie to you not even gonna lie I just wanted to throw it in the garbage honestly but I said let me persevere let me push through because I, I did get a lot of compliments on it some people didn't believe I, I made it I'm like hey, I made it <laughs> I'm good I made it okay so I'm not gonna show you guys anymore because if you guys want to see a full video of everything that I made this year, I suggest that you guys stay tuned in December of when I do a full closet of everything that I made this year. Oh, comment down below what was your favorite dress that you've seen so far. Hours later and what was I doing? Oh, I was filming a reel for my business Instagram. I don't know. May 7th. Calling it a business, is, it just feels weird sometimes. But my crafting slash business channel, which is awa.crafts. You guys can go check that out over there. I sew and craft, basically. Um, I was making some content for that because I have not posted a reel in a long time. I posted a reel last week. That's a long time. And I was also filming a YouTube video for you guys. Um, If you guys see me in the same apparel, batch recording. That's what that was. Batch recording. Recording. There's something that I've been seeing all over the net, but I didn't see it until my sister showed it to me. I'll just put it on the screen right now what it is. Aren't they so beautiful? So I got me some pins from Shein. All the pins that I got are from Shein. I also got some pins from Hobby Lobby. So these are all my pins that I got. So I'm going to be lacing my sambas right now. And I really hope to get into my crafting room because I do have some things to do. And there's something else that I I saw that I want to dibble dabble in. It's called a dream book. It's almost the end of the year, but this is not a vision board. This is not a vision book. This is like lifetime, like what I want in my lifetime. It's definitely going to be something that I can't wait to start. Avi, it's pink. Duh. It's basically gonna be a scrapbook, but also my dream book. So um, that's for that. So I had a budgeting business on Etsy and I bought all these binders for the business and it never worked out. So I have a lot, I have like over 20 binders left over in like double colors. So I need to use them. I'll probably do a giveaway at 5,000, 5,000 family members. So let's see if we can get up there. Oh my gosh, thank you guys also so much for all the love and the girl, my lips are ish. Thank you guys for all the love on the hand knitting, the Hope Macaulay dupe sweater for the fall. So I don't know if I'm gonna be doing another one only because it's just so big and there's nowhere to put it. Like nowhere. I find so hilarious is that people thought it was a tutorial. So everybody's in the comments like, oh, this is a whack video because I didn't learn anything from it. Or this is a whack video because you said it was a tutorial. No babes. That was my first time trying a hand knitting anything and it's in the title but you know i gave them grace because we all mess up right they didn't see it so it's a-okay but what i will be dibble dabbling in and i featured this in my crafting vlog and it's gonna take a minwit but i definitely want to get it done for the fall and it's a fringe sweater i'm telling you it's so neat on the inside look at how neat that is 
on the inside super super neat it's gonna take me a long time because i'm a crafter so it's gonna take a long time because i double dabble in every craft hello this is the only thing that i got done so far it took me what two weeks to get this done so yeah it's just because i'm not on it on it like that that's why it's not finished but why is my sister just standing there let's go taste her buttercream please so she's making a cake for her b-day and her birthday is on saturday two more today. days for my b-day um, anyways, so she's making a cake for her Don't birthday. Don't touch. Back it up. A heart cake. Back it and up, pip squeak. Yo, you want to tell them about your fail, girl? Oh my gosh, I did a heart cake, make the heart cake for the first time, and I think it was just, I think it was just too hot. I think I took it out like too early out of the pan, so it broke and it crumbled, and um, I had to make another one. But you had a breakdown. I did. I had a breakdown. And this but. teaches us, like in business, everything is not gonna always go right all the time. But if you are persistent and you persevere, no matter the negative comments, there's always gonna be somebody to back you up. Like me. Exactly. Ow! So we have this dreamy, dreamy buttercream. Look at their sweet. Shim, 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 shim. Very demure. Very cutesy. All right. Very demure. It looks very like. Very demure. It looks dreamy. It looks very easy. But it doesn't taste dreamy. All right. Can I demure my finger? Ooh. What does it need? Do you think it needs salt? Oh my gosh. Is this is but no kizzy cat. This is nice. Five out of five. Definitely. I love it. We're about to lace these sambas. I'm gonna pull up an inspiration picture on Pinterest and see if we can get something shaken. it's an hour later hour and a half later and i just finished baby these are five five as you guys know i love crafting i love sewing that's why i have this this paint palette here and then it has like crafting stuff in there also it's pink and then above it it says i love jesus avi and then actually i can for all the doubters that are saying i can't do it main character energy shifting into my main character era not even soft girl ever just main character ever trying to be the best that i can be for myself i'm an adult like bro it literally hit me like bro i'm an adult love yourself first a love language of mine is words of affirmation and stuff like that so definitely reminding myself to love me first and pour into me first don't wait on other people to pour into you pour into yourself right here it says all that in a bag of chips because that's who i am i got this because i love taking pictures and i also um love filming youtube videos i have my initial hair s for shantae uh v center of it all a sewing machine because i love sewing and i also love it because it's a vintage sewing machine thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys made it to this point that means you made it to the end of the video but not the end of this channel i had a great time filming for you guys i hope you guys got something out of this video be more crafty just live in your crafting era or something that i said in the word of the day something something inspiring something to make you go on you know what i'm saying something to make you persevere something to make you you know continue on this journey anything i hope i was able to impact your life in some way and if i wasn't i hope that the lord will be able to impact you someday whether it be the birds chirping outside or you just waking up in the morning but i hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully i think by the time this video will be up it'll probably be september already but i hope you guys have a great evening morning afternoon or night whenever you're watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye. i love you but god loves you more